Hi, welcome. I had still a small tutorial on my to-do list about the Plank themes. So we have uh, Plank at our disposal and when we, we you press right mouse control, you can get to the settings. And this is the look for Renier. And since I'm now responsible from the AOR, I had to change um, the Numix Plank theme. So if, if there are issues, if there are updates needed on the AOR for Numix, just flag it out of date on the AOR uh, website and I'll update it. But this guy, the Numix that we have, is exactly the same as the Numix coming from, uh, well, the official repo. So what we're gonna make is we make our own Numix version with two axes. So this is what's, uh, what's in here right now. And how do we change it? How do we have fun with a playing theme? That's basically the tutorial. Well, you need to know, first know um, your system. So you go over here and you say to, it's installed from Arch Linux. So we go to the repo, probably gonna search for Plank or something. And then if the application Plank, the settings and the themes. So it's the themes that we're gonna need. And in here, we've now see that the themes are actually on user share Plank themes and all the way down somewhere down there must be Numix. So there's a doc theme, there's a hover theme and we need to get cracking. We go to Thunarm file manager, file system. We've just seen where it is. It is on my second screen so I can take a look at it again. User share blank themes, enter. So this is the thing we need to work in. The Numix is the folder we're gonna change. Now, since it's on um, on the, the, the protected part, uh, user share blank. I could move it to my own uh, shared here, but let's keep working on here. So new mix. And then we're gonna open folder as root and just change these guys. So that's out. Now we're gonna work on this and that thing and immediately see the changes when we change anything. So there are two files, okay, the doc team. Okay, that's opened up here. And maybe, well, it all depends what you want to do. Open with Sublime Text, open with the Genie, you go ahead. Let's try Atom. And it's the first time I ever opened it on this system, like so. Let's see what's the nicest to do. This is plain text. Let's tell them this is Perl. That looks better. So everything that's white is going to be uh, well, applied and everything that's just, this black line is just you, um, well, in this case, more info. So the roundness of the top corners. At this point in time, let's take something brighter as wallpaper, that's bright enough. So everything looks very, um, very, very dark, I was saying, thinking, not transparent. So we'll find a code, the same here, let's, Get this guy also in Perl. Same you can do on Genie or on uh, Sublime Text. So the plank drawing theme, the roundness of the top corners, the bottom, the thickness in pixels, outer stripe color, RGBA. So this is transparency, transparency is zero. Well, one, I mean, full on. So it's not transparent at all. So if you go to zero, it's fully transparent and 255 is not transparent. Another, all the rest is colors. Okay. So we have the information. Everything is set. We have a editor. We're working straight on this thing. Might not be a good idea, but in, this, in my case, it's a good idea since I'm gonna change it later on and make a new package for you guys so that we have a different kind of Numix um, element than the standard Numix from the Numix GitHub. So, Plank theme, top roundness, stock theme. Um, let's see what I want to change. I don't want to change everything. I want to change some things. So the dock theme, uh, outer strike color. Let's start by changing these lines. Hmm. And then it's just a guess. Your guess is as good as mine. It's 150. The starting color RGB of the fill gradient. 
Okay. Well, the first 150 was maybe not necessary. Well, it's just trial and error. Oh, there we go. So we have now a transparent kind of new mix look. Already it's a different kind of plank theme, but of course it isn't this four numbers that have changed. The outer strike color, that's probably an outer line. So basically you don't see it even if you've changed or not. It's so too small to see it. Uh, probably let's exaggerate here. Okay, <laughs> that's the line width here, the outer strike. And if we go and change this to 150, okay, that's this small line down here. That is what we're talking about. So, okay, fine. Let's try and change this thing. Okay, so that's the top roundness, 20. 20 is super. How about 200? So that's it's that easy to work with, right? So let's do first Control Z, like so, and save it. Uh, line width is okay, so 200, that's the thing we're working with. It's a little bit cut off at the top here. You see this Vivaldi is just a little bit too small there. And you just experiment on. So, not really a fan of the top roundness. So, I'm gonna take just two. Maybe ten. Yep, maybe ten. The roundness of the bottom corners, top corners, bottom corners, so we can have a 10 here as well. So that gives here this corner up here. Well, this is that this thing is put on the left of the screen. So if you put this on the top, it makes more sense. And then this is the top, right? Top corner, top roundness, top roundness 10. So now you can follow the idea of the let's control set this thing. Okay. So top, this is now correct, the top, and this is then the bottom. So on the left you have to think a bit different. So this already looks quite nice. Horizontal padding, the padding on the left, you can go away. The padding on the left, right dock edges in tens of a percentage of the icon size. Just start typing. You'll get it. Okay. The padding on the top dock edge. Nothing to see. Aha, uh -huh, something changes. Okay, something definitely changed. So that's too much. Top padding. Basically this was okay. Don't need to change everything. The padding between items on the dock. Whoa, a bit too close to each other, right? So how about two? A bit smaller. The size of item indicators and tens of a percent. So this little, probably this little blue thing here. Gonna be bigger or not indicator size hmm okay so what I'm pressing here is ctrl Z or ctrl Y to get back if I went too far away in the history the shadow size let's throw we could do that there is a shadow or not Can't really see it, I must tell. I say the urgent bounce height. You can make it higher. I don't think I don't know how to actually make something bounce. So whatever. Opacitive value zero to one to fade the dock to when hiding it. Ah. Uh when hiding it. So right mouse click, preferences, behavior, IntelliHide. So when you're hiding it, it's gonna change things. I don't know. 
not really important. Click time, bounce time, launch time, active time. So now we are more in the settings of um, of plank and not really in the theming of the plank. You see, bottom right line with. Here we have the files written by the theme, the tool maps, the new mix theme, great. So we took 150, let's take this one as well, 150. And we have left the colors alone. What if you wanted to change the colors? Whoops. What if you wanted to change the colors? Then you need to figure out what color there is. We have a GPIC thing. And we have, seem to have a lot of colors at this point in time. How does GPIC work? I've already done an article, a video about it, but you need to take a swatch. So not the middle one, but the swatch. Some one of these guys, the six guys. Then you go over the colors. You see this change, the window changes here. Press space bar to sample color under a mouse pointer. So color, 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 right? I have a lot of colors from my wallpaper. And then and then we have codes, right mouse click. You can copy to the clipboard. And basically I think we're gonna need the RGB colors. So if I would say this is a good color, I'm gonna copy paste it over, go to my palette hover theme, so here to the talk theme, and then the color of RGB. So I'm gonna put it here. This is the color that I have. 7-2, very nice, but 255, 188-37 is much to my liking. And let's see, oh yeah, the very, very minute change, you see here the, the, the very thin line, of course, line width is one. So let's take 10, so this is my color. Okay, so let's assume, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, that the line is nice, right? A black line is always nice to have a alignment or a line, right? To, what am I doing? To five, five. Let's see how it looks when I change this thing. Okay, let's copy paste it. Two, five, five, one, eight, eight, three, seven. Okay, control C, save. Hola, not that bad, not that shabby, meaning the starting color of the fill gradient. You start here, or you can do it the other way around. You start at the top and then you change the colors from here. Take that, those guys there. Or you can say, just, just make everything the same kind of gradient. And then we have something yellowish. So, if you like this kind of thing, why not? Use those colors. There are 60 million colors out there. Chipic is one of the things, but you can also go on online and, and copy paste uh, or find find a color, an RGB color online, and choose that one. Now we have a black line across. That's not too bad. Maybe a little bit too dark, but it's that's this thing. This can be brighter. Lights out means zero. That's black. Zero. The light is out. Right, that's very black. But you can also say 255, lights are on, 255, red, green, blue, 255, oops, 255. And this is transparency, remember RGB A, A for transparency. Save, and this is a whitish line, which is not that bad, bad either, but you can get something in the middle, I don't know, under 50 or something, grayish. So if these things are the same, if red, green, and blue is the same color, you always get a gradient of gray, always. So the more you get to the zero, the more it's gonna be black, and the more you get to 255, the more it's gonna be completely white. That's the point. So this is something in the middle, grayish. But you, as you can see, with a line with a one, you need to really have very good eyes to be able to see that this is grayish. 10. Okay, agreed, grayish. And nobody tells you that it needs to be transparent, this line. You can make it all, uh, well, opaque. Okay, that's not, uh, 
at all grayish. But if you take three of them the same, then it is. And then this is be opaque. Don't look, don't let the light shine through. No transparency at all. Transparency again. So play around with the numbers. That's basically my, my thing. I'm gonna save. I kind of liked this. Let's see. Nope, not either. Control Z. Don't like that color. Control Z. I think I'm gonna save it like this. And Numix is gonna look now like this. Basically, uh, guys, just experiment with it. It's not that difficult to see. You need some tools, you need some knowledge, but basically just change elements, colors, and, and some settings up here. Some of the settings are, you'll probably find them here as well. So it's gonna read the settings that are in here. It's gonna read them and put them in this GUI, right? Graphical user interface. And it's up to you to say, okay, I want to have this, I want to have that, zoom size, 36, icon size, all these elements are probably in there somewhere. Just have to look for it. All right, have fun with uh, blank themes. And if you've uh, made a new theme and you say, okay, I want to share it with uh, Arc Linux and put it in the package, great. More themes, more fun. All right, cheers.